Um, this is Simon with HSC. Today we're going to do a quick introduction to the software for our new M6A Pro G200 model. First up, we're going to go to our, the bottom here and click connection. We're going to choose USB connection. Go ahead and connect to our drone. All right, perfect. Just shows us some basic information like the drone's ID and firmware. And right at the top here, we can see our status bar. It's got our drone ID, our battery level, GPS, our altitude, and that will actually uh, show your altitude based on the sensor that you're using. For example, your radar or your actual barometric altimeter. It changes color depending on what you've chosen. Uh, our speed, uh, no, we're not flying 570 miles an hour. That's just because we don't have any GPS signal. Uh, and then we got our pump status, so that shows our total pump output and our pump uh, amount per minute. Finally, we have our radar distance front or back. That's for our obstacle avoidance radar. It gives you a heads up there of how far away you are from any obstacles it may detect. On the right side here, a couple more options are the film reel is to open up our camera view. We have our map options so we can center the map based on the location of the tablet, the location of the drone. We also have look, uh, options for uh, map layers and zooming in and out. Okay, and finally at the bottom here, we have our options to unlock, start the drone, return to home, and land. This drone actually has options to enter a password when you have to arm it, which is a really great safety feature. Let's zoom into this area right. I want to show you real quick how to create a flight plan. On the bottom left here, this little icon, if we click on that, opens up this list. Here we can create a new plot. So we can name it here. We'll call this one Sunny Town. You can even enter an address here, so it gives you a lot more options. Sunny Drive here. You can even enter the name of the owner of the area, HSE. Go ahead and hit Save. Then if we just go to the top right here, we can click Choose Point. And it allows us to choose our boundary points. So boundary point, we can hit Record. And you can see, as I move the map, it allows me to change my there you go. Pretty easy. Now, at oh, at the bottom right here, we have a couple more options. We have this first icon allows us to enter our spraying parameters. So our route spacing is our swath. Our route height is the altitude at which it will fly. The flight speed and the gallons per acre, or the amount per acre. Go ahead and click OK. We'll save the parameters. The next icon here will actually, well, let me go ahead and hit save here. There we go. Do it one more time. There it is. So that icon will actually generate the flight plan. Then you got a few more options in the top right here. So you can uh, pan the flight plan around to adjust for wind speeds. You can zoom in and out. You can rotate it. So it gives you a lot of features there. And finally, at the bottom right here, we have options to upload to the drone. And you can see there it is uploading. You can also download from the drone. So you can download the waypoints. Let that finish. You can also clear any points from your screen here. There you go. And it is really that simple to generate your flight plan. Again, this is the new app for the M6A Pro G200 model. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of this in the future. And we can't wait to show you the, all the other features that this app has. This is just the beginning. There's a lot more that goes into it coming up soon. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.